Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about real estate today. I know there's a lot of noise out there uh, from various news sources and I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, home prices, um, interest rates, and the economy as a whole. So in case anybody hasn't really paid attention, uh, the interest rates have gone up quite a bit this year for mortgage rates, almost 300 basis points, which equals almost 3% uh, in an increase in rate this year. And the Fed is trying to do that for uh, multiple reasons, but number one, just to kind of re relieve some of the uh, tension uh, on the supply chain. And number two, to keep consumers from buying things. So buying cars, buying consumer goods, and buying houses. Um, so right now the interest rate, if you have uh, pretty good credit is somewhere in the sixes for low sixes for a 30 year. And the good news about that is that that really is the sign of a healthy economy. I think it should be somewhere between uh, mid fives to mid sixes if you're in a healthy housing market. And historically speaking, uh, if you go back to 1971 when they started uh, tracking the 30 year mortgage rate data, uh, the average rate over the past 50 years is 7.77%. So we're actually lower than that. And I still think that it's uh, a good time to buy. However, I know just enough to be dangerous as far as it pertains to, uh, to interest rates. So you'll have to contact uh, one of our trusted uh, mortgage lenders and advisors as far as that goes. But um, as far as the housing prices, I know that's uh, of great interest to a lot of you out there and to me as well. Um, so just as far as from a, a national perspective, the largest uh, demographic in home buying are millennials right now. And uh, if you look back at the last housing crash, because I know everybody's wondering like, well, are housing prices going to go down? Is the housing bubble going to burst? And I just want to put your mind at ease. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, back in 2008 was one of the worst uh, housing crashes we've ever seen. It led us into a recession that was second only to the Great Depression and really wrecked our economy. Um, and so if you look at where we're at in 2022 and go back 15 years to 2007 going into that housing crash and compare, um, it looks totally different. You couldn't really even draw it up any differently. Uh, if you tried. So uh, first of all, there's 5 million more 35 year olds, which is the prime first time home buyer age. There's 5 million more 35 year olds entering the housing market than there was in 2007. Secondly, in 2007, we had 2.1 million new housing starts. So there was a lot more in inventory and supply. Builders were building, the economy was booming, and um, there was a lot of more houses in inventory. And today, there's only going to be uh, 1.4 million that's going to be starting, and that number is actually trending down uh, due to material shortage, the supply chain, and increase in the finance cost for the builders. And the available inventory is at half of what we actually had in 2007 in the U.S. So general rule economics, when demand is high because interest rates are good, and supply is low, then prices increase. So that's the national scale. If you go to Chattanooga, there's 587 available homes across all price ranges from a dollar to $10 million in Hamilton County, 587. And in 2020, our home prices went up by 12%. In 2021, our home prices went up by 14%. And so far in 2022, they're up 15%. So my personal opinion, housing prices are not going to go down for several years. Chattanooga and real estate in general is a very localized business. So what's happening on the West Coast and what's happening up Northeast and what's happening in Florida is not happening in Chattanooga. So uh, prices are gonna continue to, to go up. And even if the interest rates tick up, um, I think that it's still a good time to buy a house. And I think it's a good time if you're not in your dream house to sell your house and be able to buy something else. Um, at the end of the day, this is one of the most beautiful things about real estate, and I'll finish with this, is that if you buy a stock, 
that's a hundred dollars you have to pay a hundred dollars for the stock in order to get the dividend or the return on the stock and let's say that that stock is giving a return at 15 percent. so you make 15 bucks on your hundred well in real estate you only have to put down a percentage it's a down payment of the full price but you get the full return on the full investment so if you buy a house at three hundred thousand dollars and you put 5% down, that's a $15,000 down payment. But if you go to sell it the next year and prices went up 15%, then that 15% return you get on the 300,000. So then you, it's an equity gain of 45,000, but you've only had to put 15,000 in. And that is a beautiful way to get ahead in real estate. And that is why a lot of millionaires, 90% or more in the US has made it through real estate. It's just, um, a different style of game to play and it's a lot more stable now everyone needs a roof over their head so either way i just hope that brings you some comfort and if you have any questions as it pertains to this video or any of the uh, data that we talked about please feel free to reach out and we'll talk to you soon see ya